I mean, yeah, I've seen fucking a couple waves of Griffin where he's fucking uh, Griffin, you know? You're asking but a like, modern day outlaw about Sesame but, Street, but, okay? But I it's would, like, fuck. I, I wouldn't know him if he fucking walked up and smacked me in the face. Really. I'd know he was one of those kids, you know? Like, I might not know who it is, but I'd ask. When Christian was 12 years old, I was probably seven, but he did a backflip on his BMX bike. I fucking just whipped the bike, the bike went around, fuck, I came around, landed on my seat, wheelie fucking fell on my back. But did it. Yeah. So for me, the only thing I had was to go for it. Every time I'd try to do something, is because Griffin was trying to do it. I would like order the exact same thing and you'd always get Nah, oh yeah, like, you're fucking copy everything I do. Oh yeah, like if I would order chicken wings, he'd order chicken wings. Be so funny. Be so funny. I feel like I wasn't really into surfing as much as Griffin was, and then Griffin would always push me to like always come and surf with him. Look at that one, right there. See that thing? Woof. That thing's barely like a mother. And it's just gonna spit. And if you want barrels, Call 973-888-2017! Only for a thousand bucks! Krabzy wasn't that good at surfing. Like, it's not like he was like Griffin when Griffin was 13 and Griffin was like this big prodigy kid. For me, it was kind of always like Griffin's like levels above me ever since I was younger. Crosby was like this pretty big, slow moving kid always and he just didn't really seem like he had that like fast twitch reaction time. Yeah. He was like kind of chubbier and like slower and hadn't like hit his growth spurt yet. And like he would like lose these contests all the time and he would have the biggest fit after. Like I <laughs> see him like headbutt his board like wham, wham, wham. <laughs> and I just would be like, wait, Crosby, why are you getting so mad? You don't even try that hard. If one of us was on top, it wasn't like you would take that opportunity to kick somebody when they were down. Like it was almost more about like getting whoever was on the bottom off the bottom. I've seen Griff take like a major, almost borderline coach role for Crosby. Make sure when you surf, you're actually like, you know, you're trying to work on things. You're not just going out there just to surf. Griff was like, dude, that was a bog rail. <laughs> and I'm just like, whoa. And then Crosby would be like, that shit to you, I'm trying to me. fight you. <laughs> I just would tell him like straight up how it was. I think it was like hard to hear at first, but then it would like settle in. 
he actually like did exactly what I told him to do. Crosby was a little bit in the shadows for just a minute. And I feel like now a lot of people are talking about how crazy good Crosby is. They pretty much surf exactly alike at this point. Crosby's really pushing Griffin now. Griffin always talks about like, like he's my creation. Like this is, this is like, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you're at today. Like, <laughs> fuck, you owe me everything. But now it's just like, holy shit, this kid's gnarly. Yeah. Like, this kid's fucking rips. Like, yeah. he's a, a top 10 surfer in my eyes, like in the world. If you could travel anywhere to go surf, where would, where would you want to go? Sibling rivalry. Um, pretty much our whole growing up, everything was like a, a battle. <laughs> the first person to win just 10 races gets an extra piece of candy at the candy shop. Christian liked video games and and so I was an idiot. So he would like play a bunch and then he would like beat me 20 times and want to play me again just to just beat like me to, again you know no, what i mean not, no, so that's, my old defense was okay i don't play video games i mean i hated losing to him <laughs> for sure that shit bugged me i'm gonna win i'm gonna win for the next one i don't care if he wins griffin's way more competitive than crosby it's almost like i need to just you know keep my foot on his throat 
if I'm getting on a roll. No prisoners. Go over there and push your brother down. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> You're just yeah. playing poker. He's like, wants to kick your ass in poker. Or like, yeah, you're golf, playing golf. Like he that, wants yeah. to kick your ass in golf. Like, Griff yeah. wants to beat you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's straight down the fairway, Crosby. I think Crosby's got that like, look of a lion in him. He's just always like, a little bit more intensely focused. Talk. What are your goals? Win and it's the same nationals 2011. I'm going too fast. Crosby looks like he'll be joining Griffin. <laughs> Gotta be, huh? Soon enough. Those brotherly rivalries when they come into like the big show is is the best. You just don't hold back because you want to beat your brother so bad. Like, there's no one better to beat than your brother, especially if it's your older brother. But as the older brother, you don't want the younger one to beat you because you'll never hear the end of it. So they'll just go for it. I still remember super vividly, we were probably like four and six years old and my dad sat us down and he was like, hey, that there, like that's your brother. That's more than your best friend. That guy's gonna be there more for you than anybody else ever will because he's your family and he's literally like, you guys are brothers. 
it's a deeper connection than you ever could to your best friend. For sure. The brotherly bond's freaking beyond this world. So, welcome to our crib! It's like having a best friend, like, hanging out with you, growing up with you your whole life so they know everything about you. And if I'm, like, having a weird one, he can look at me and, like, tell that I'm on a weird one. They know you sometimes better than you know yourself. The fact is, if you're a team, you're stronger. And so, like, you're upholding your family name, your blood. And so it's just so much better to, like, empower each other and be a team instead of brothers that hate each other and fight because we already did that. Whether you just beat them, whether you're being a shithead, whether stuff's not going your way, like, your brother's always going to have your back. and. It's probably the thing that gives you confidence to push harder. In a way, we're kind of just basically one because like Josh does one thing, he wins a comp, people are coming up to me and saying congrats and kind of just got to take it in. Like, I don't want to tell them, oh, I'm not Josh. Like, yeah. fuck off. <laughs> it's kind of a team to the mountaintop. You know, you're not like just bailing your dude or your brother on the side of the road and be like, I'm going to top of Everest. Like, you, it's such a long journey to get there. You need the teamwork. And, I think that's why so many brothers in the scope of surfing really excel. I always thought it'd be cool if it's like the Coffin Brothers. Yeah. Like it's the Cola Bros, the Irons Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Just the legacy that those guys left behind is kind of like, that's what I hope for is that we can leave something like that when we're done with surfing. I see them go, yeah, pushing probably maybe the biggest dynamic brother performers since the Irons. I mean, Hawaii I think speaks for itself with those guys. Like. They're on a, another level. The performances they put on there was incredible, you know. I felt like every day one of those two just came out with an incredible wave out of Hawaii season and and they looked strong. They looked like they were they were meant to be there and um, I think they both stamped themselves as legit surfers.
we're really not that close. We don't really like each other that much. <laughs> no, uh... Krazi will come sleep with me when he gets scared. <laughs> that, was, that was when I was like, gone. <laughs> says there's two kinds of kids, the kinds you put in the playpen or the kind you put the playpen on top of. Supposedly they put the playpen on top of this one. So that way I couldn't get to him. Griffin will probably be on tour until he's 50 because he just loves it so much. Like, it seems like he just wants to be there. Like, like a Kelly, like how Kelly's still doing it. He's like, yeah, that sounds like the sickest thing <laughs> ever. Like, I want to be on it when I'm 50. <laughs> if Griffin and Crosby want to be doing the tour in 10 years, they're probably have plenty of talent to be doing it for a pretty long time. Unless this next crop of kids that grows up surfing wave pools or just little aliens and do like backflips and all the contests are in wave pools. It's possible. I definitely but, think yeah. that in, <laughs> I definitely think in 10 years time there will be a couple couple wins between those two on the world tour. Yeah. You can almost guarantee that. I mean 10 years from now we're both on tour. And Crosby and I are in the top five fighting for a world title at Lowers. Sounds insane. <laughs> and I already have three. <laughs>